you know what they call the dot on the top of the eye? No. The tittle. Wait, what? I'm oh, not, I'm not joking. It's called the tittle. The tittle. T i t t l e. Hmm. In I India, what, you mean the no, dot? No, the the dot in the lowercase i. That little dot. <laughs> not fucking. <laughs> not the Asian subcontinent. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Great way to start it. What a month, Evo. <laughs> what a month. That's yeah. right. This is the, oh, the monthly shit. update for October. Fucking times are flying. Yeah, it is. We're 10 months? No, no, no. We did it in March. Seven months. Gotcha. Um, so let's let's get right into it. Mm-hmm. Waste no time. Evo, how was your non-game month? Ah. What did you do for the past 30 days? I played some games. Well, we're going to get to that after oh. we talk about all non-game stuff first. Oh, then Jesus. we get right to the game. Oh, lordy, lordy. You're doing it for, for seven months. We have a system. Uh, okay. Anything of note worth, worth talking about? Dude, I'm drawing a blank. Like, I don't remember what I did yesterday. Well, that's because you have Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we didn't want you to tell you this way, but... Okay. Sorry. A little, maybe a little onset dementia. Well, Early it, onset dementia. It could be. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. What the hell did I do? This I know that you past... worked at least 30 days. Yeah. <laughs> Something well, like five that. Five of those 30... Well, you had no, five of seven. So five, 40 days. No, 20 days. <laughs> I didn't go to college for math, Evo. Yeah, yeah. Clearly. What was it, history? Yes, Russian history. <laughs> oh. But 20 you, days. You, you don't need math. No. Math. Ugh, I can't even talk. You don't yeah, need see, math it's contagious. for that. Fucking awfulness. Yeah. So you have no idea what you did. Um, let's see. I probably worked. Safe bet. Yeah. Um, did you play hard along with working hard? No. You just... Worked hard. Yeah, I hard. think it just worked. Great. Yeah. <laughs> what did you well, do? It be coming to the end of October means all summer activities are pretty much wrapping up and golf's done. Our last round. Oh was, yeah. Well, we we had some warm weather in uh, last month. Yeah. Well, this goes from the twelfth of September to the still end of no, September. Twelfth of October to twelfth of November. Oh, okay, okay. So never mind. Past thirty days. Yeah. Now I I got in golf before the end of. October played fucking terribly my last round. I was very upset with myself. Yeah. Golf so, wait, you played golf the whole summer. Yeah. And then you and finished it off. Two. And spring, too. And yes. then you finished it off horribly. It, I, I could technically keep playing now. There's, I think, one or two golf courses that are still open. Uh, it's a little cold. Yeah. I mean, the weather doesn't bother me. But I can I can't play golf in pants for some reason. <laughs> okay. I, I It's just that's, one of those mental things. Yeah. It's dumb. Hmm. But, See, uh, you figure you play it through, you know, the whole year. That's you know, whatever spring, summer. Yeah, and then to finish it off, you should like have a perfect game. You'd think, but my second to last round, I played amazingly. But okay, but, so, yeah. in my my last round, I paid a lot of money to play terribly. Yeah, and it was bad. Um. All right. Wait, I'm, wait, wait. What? It's coming to you. I'm waiting. Uh, how much money? Depends on the course. Like, for that whole season. Oh, God. Um, depending on the course, it can go anywhere from... For 18 holes, for one person, it can, can go anywhere from like 35 to wow. 50 bucks, depending on where you go. Holy shit. Yeah, it's not a cheap sport. It's, you you get, really hate yourself to go play a course terribly and then keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. So... Thousand bucks for the season? If that... But you know, had food afterwards. Had oh yeah, some stuff to eat there. So yeah. probably a thousand bucks. Uh, on the on the on the high end, yeah. But yeah, whatever. Golf's fun. You gotta I live. Yeah, it. you gotta live. Everyone's enjoy got your a hobby. Yeah, exactly. Ours is hobbies fisting. cause <laughs> well fisting. Well, ours is fisting. <laughs> yeah, hence well, the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how about how You're about a little perv, Greg? Well, we both came up with this name. It's not just me. Ow! Would you stop? I give but you I, a chair with wheels on it, and this is what you do. You run into shit. Yeah. It's well, very anyway, loose. It's All right, continue. Uh, how about how about game in uh, month in games? Games. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Horizon Zero Dawn, which is awesome. Did you do the expansion that just came out? I think a few days ago. Actually, yes, I purchased it. Oh, you did. You just haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, I think you had to be like level thirty. I think I said to get to that. And 
if okay. you just started out. Yeah, I just started last month. So, but um, it looks really nice on the HDR TV. Yeah, it's one of those show pieces they talk about for PlayStation Pro. Yeah, because the um, I think it uh, actually got a decent Uncharted Four. Yeah, that's another that, one. That's but the colors look a little washed out. I don't know. It just yeah. it doesn't pop. Well, and I was like, oh, is it my TV settings? You know, like, is it the PS4? It could be a combination of both. Probably I, more the PS4. I think it's the thing. game. You could know, the, the, the way they did the HDR for the game. Because compared to, like, Horizon, yeah. it, like, that game looks Oh, well, we're talking about Uncharted compared to Horizon. Right, right. Okay. I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, so maybe... Well, if you, if you want to get things that look amazingly amazing, you have to get the new Xbox thing that just came out because that pretty much has been proven to be technically at least the best system as far as graphics and all that everybody's saying that but the problem is you can't play horizon on your xbox correct yeah so So. you're so you're playing the horizon you're enjoying the horizon yeah and i also purchased a uh what was it Uh, they had a big sale on playstation so i got um oh final fantasy 15 yeah yeah yeah, you, I I bought that when it came out. You're if you actually play that, you're going to be playing more. You're going to get more for your money than I did when I first bought it because they put out, Christ, four or five patches and updates since the game came out that actually fleshed out more of the game. Oh, okay. They did a super annoying thing where this you have it's like a certain chapter was terrible when you first got to it. Like when the first game, the game first came out, I think it was like chapter thirteen was absolutely terrible. I hated really? playing it. Okay, and they admitted, "Yeah, this is garbage. We're gonna come back and fix it." But I had already beat the game. Right. So I did why everything. Would you go back? I don't want to go back. Yeah, yeah. So theoretically, the smart thing to do would have been to wait till when you bought it, when they fixed everything. Yeah. Put a bunch of patches out and a bunch of extra content for shit they didn't bother with when the first came out. That that's kind of like how I buy games. It's is- the smarter way to do it. I'll wait, and it's not because uh, for the patches. It's because I'm cheap. Yeah, and, and I want to. I just want to get a good deal on them. So what I'll do is, you know, I'll wait till the games go on sale, like game of the year edition type shit. When it's that, or just a couple months down the road, and you know, like I think Final Fantasy was fifty uh, twenty five dollars. That's half of what I paid. So. Right. So and by then the all you know all the quirks are uh, worked out patched up for the most part i guess content and yeah. shit so that's i guess how i do it yeah once in a while i will spend like full price on a game that i really really want to play I like was, I, I think the um what's that game com- upcoming zombie game days days gone i'm not gonna play i know days but gone. It, i like it so you're gonna you're gonna get that when it comes out i think so yeah yeah um I was not happy with 15 playing that. The the, the combat and that was dumb. You didn't like I it? didn't enjoy it. Okay. I didn't feel like a challenge. I would just hold a button down. Okay. And then everybody in my party would do their own thing. And then they would die. And they're like, it doesn't matter. I'll just keep hitting my one button and I'll win. I didn't. I mean, I played it just because I play all those games. Yeah. Eh. Storyline. Storyline was very convoluted and dumb. You had to have watched a movie. Oh, that actually came with the... It, they, I think um, a few weeks or so before the game actually came out in select theaters in the U.S., they actually put out the... I guess you could call it the companion movie that actually explained the story. And they're like, wait, why Why are we this guy doing this? Why is he like this now? Well, you yeah. have to watch the movie. Oh. And if you've watched any uh, Final Fantasy movie, it doesn't make any fucking sense. I, I've seen them all. But I didn't see King's Glaive, which is the one that is... Com- Paired with this, I don't know if you actually got that when you... Did you buy a physical or the digital copy? Digital copy. It may have came with it with a digital, I don't know, but... Mm, I Maybe, I don't know. I have, to, I have the disc I, I got around. it through the PlayStation store. Yeah, I've got a case floating around here. I think the disc is in it. I've just not cared because I know it's not going to make any sense. It'll look real fucking nice, but... Yeah. Because that's one thing that they're good at is making pretty looking games, but... Yeah. The story was dumb. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Mm, see, uh, those two games... Um, I think that's it. It's pretty busy compared to last month. You did a way more. Yeah, yeah, I played more games. What did I do this yeah, past what month? What did you do? Um, well, I I started near on the stream, like that. That's that's weird fucking game, but it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Because I keep hearing, I've heard so much about it, at least the story in that is it's it's worth seeing some of the shit in that. 
I watched you play it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You're stalking looks, me. It was, it was the part I watched. It was through some desert. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a giant open area, and there's little like sections. It looks cool. Yeah, it's um, combat's kind of annoying. Like, there's a few gripes I could have with it, but I would. It, I'm enjoying it. Uh, what else did I do? I stopped playing 14. I just canceled my subscription yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah, because I haven't played it in a while. Okay. Kind of dedicated all the stream time that I do for the three days that we do it. It's just been near. Um, I bought Wolfenstein, but I can't get the thing to stream. We were going to do that as one of the episodes. I'm still looking into how to record, how to record it. it. I think I've got like the ideas to do it. I just actually haven't done it because I hear that's a fucking crazy-ass story. And they do some weird ass shit in that game. Okay. And I really want to see it. Yeah. Um, what else did I play? Uh, Lost a lot in Dota. You go through these ups and downs, and I'm on like a nine game losing streak now. <laughs> and it's real masochistic. It's like, I just got to stop. Uh, I'll probably stop for a bit, come back later, because a new patch came out and they have a bunch of cool shit. And I want to. So that game is still going strong, huh? It's been going. I. Got into the beta in 2011, and that was only a few months after I think the uh, beta actually opened or closed beta, but they were putting invites out. So yeah, I've been playing it for over six years now. Jesus, yeah, it's it's, and I only have like 2,500 hours, but people have triple that. That's insane. Wait, how? Tri- 2,500. So 7,500 hours. Some people have 10,000. Okay. How- how many hours in a year? Uh, well, you do 365 times 24. I don't want to do math right now. Neither do I, but it's a lot. <laughs> um, some people leave the shit idle in the background. It seems just counts the hours. It doesn't say how much you're actually playing. But Wait. So we'll say about three is about a thousand. So, well, yeah, we'll just round. I, I Actually, I'll just bring up the freaking calculator here. Yeah, please. Greg is typing into the computer. So 365 times 24 is 8,760. That's one year. That's one year. Holy shit. And it's... That's of gameplay. Of the app actually being open. The game actually oh, being okay. open according to Steam. And it's been out... The, the, the closed beta was back in 2011, so... You know what's crazy? It's like... Say that's... A, we'll just say that's all gameplay, right? Yeah. Like... Just think how much you can accomplish. Like, you could probably get a master's degree. Yeah, the amount of time that you put into that. Just that alone, yeah. Yeah. And there's people who got master's degrees while they play the game. This goes all the way back to the first Dota, which was back in 2007, 2006. Jesus. So people been playing this for a long time. Yeah, it's free. It. I mean, you can't beat free other than beat yourself at the fucking game because people get mad all the time. In it. Yeah. What, um, what costs money? Uh, just cosmetic stuff. Oh, really? Uh, so like, it's not nothing to boost your guy. To play up. the game itself, zero money. Okay. You could play the entire game without any issue whatsoever, and not have to pay a cent the entire time you play it. So, oh, wow. all the um, characters in the game are free. So the only thing that ha- that costs money in is if you want to change the way they look. Okay. Wow. So it's pretty fair. Yeah. Business yeah. model they have on it. It is. Um, there's my, that those that seems like a fair micro transaction. Yeah, there's other ones like League of Legends is another one that's like that, but it's free. But they only have like set heroes in their game that are free each week. Every couple of weeks they put out a new one, but it costs their currency, which you can buy with real money. It's the, it's the system works for them, and they they are more successful, I think, as compared to Dota. But free games, they all have their model. And it's up to you whether or not you think it's fair enough or. If it's not exploitative mm-hmm. in any way. Uh, what else did I do for games this month? I mean, I, that's pretty much all you, I saw you playing. Was... It, it's been straight up near for the past two weeks. I'm like nine hours in. Yeah. There's three different endings in that game or playthroughs. Yeah. Um, there are 26 different endings. One Holy for each letter. Shit. Some of them are just dumb. Yeah. Like I just got one where this lady's like, hey, I... Just got this fish. Why don't you eat it? And I did. Apparently, the fish ate me and killed me. <laughs> what? And then the credits go by in like two seconds. And it's like, you got ending K. I'm like, okay. <laughs> the guy the guy behind the game is like a really weird dude. You know, a lot of Japanese. If there's a Japanese guy who 
is known. Like, you know who this director or producer is. He's probably a fucking crackpot weirdo. Okay. Like, the guy who does Metal Gear Solid. Everybody knows who he is. Okay, yeah, yeah. What's his... I forgot his name. But uh, I, I, I've heard his name yeah, more than once, I'm definitely. I'm fucking drawing a blank right now. Hideki... Yeah. This is... I, any other time I could have known this. Uh, MGS... Which one did Kojima, that's right. Kojima, yeah, yeah. Hideo Kojima. Hideki is the guy I was thinking of for something else yeah. completely different. But that's a long enough preamble for fucking 15 minutes we were on just our, our months because they were so busy, packed wow. in. So much shit. So let's get to the channel stuff. We'll go to the top five videos for the past month. Hit it. These are all based on total watch time, not yeah. the amount of people who have actually watched. Yeah. So number one video is the October 4th stream of Divinity. Okay. Uh, number two was the hobby trip to Mount Philo. Wow. Um, number three was part 11 of XCOM. Number four was Roaming Spirit Breaker. That was a Dota 2 video. And number five was part 12 of XCOM. Um, again, if I did this by the amount of like people who watched it, fucking the Mount Philo thing's way up there. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, we'll nice. come back to that after the uh, top five country section. Okay, go ahead. So number one, who was it last month? Was it was it the U.S.? I think it was the U.S. Or was, was it, it Czech? I think it was Czech. Well, it's the U.S. again. Ooh. Followed by Czech number two. Uh huh. Number three was Denmark. Number four was U.K. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> nice plan words. Number five was the Philippines, and we're gonna go to the top five states for the Hit U.S. It. Number one was Vermont. Number two, California. Three, Massachusetts. Four, New York. Five, Virginia. Is that your catchphrase now? Just can be hit it. <laughs> hit it. Hit it. So that's the top fives for the past month. And now we're just going to do a little um, reflection on the past month. If Ooh. you remember how we did it last last month, where we're going to talk about any of the promises we made the month before and if we, if we actually fulfilled them in any way. I know that you talked about wanting to focus on VR, and we actually did a set of Yeah, VR. we did. We yeah. did quite a few VR yeah. uh, videos. We did the yeah. Rebel Recall. Rebel Recall, which was cool. The Apollo thing. Yep. Um, Project Cars. Project Cars. And was there one more? Or was that it? I think that was it. That's it for now. Ooh. Well, I'm sure we'll probably do more VR stuff oh, yeah. in the future. We figured out how to do all the recording stuff. You did, yeah. at least. Yeah, pretty easy. Easy to set up. That recall game is pretty fun. Yeah. Like, actually having the controls and seeing your hands move around, it actually helped me. Because I don't know if any time you were watching the Apollo stuff or any of the stuff that you did, you didn't get, like, any movement sensation or anything like that? You didn't feel like you were actually in it? Mm, just the part where you land on the moon. Oh, uh, yeah. I never got... I never had any sort of sensation where I was feeling like, oh, shit, I'm driving a car. Or the... Everything was attacking me, like, in that roller recall thing, jumping on my face. Never got that. But it was close. I mean, some of it might have had to do with the um, fidelity or whatnot of the screen. I think so, Because yeah. there was that screen door thing. They as really I talked about. need to, the next gen. I mean, you got a, the, the gen that we got is what? It was the first gen. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not the greatest. It's only going to get better from here a couple of weeks right. ago. I know Mark Zuckerberg showed off the wireless unit. So it's the first iteration. It's always going to be the worst. Yeah, you, you definitely. It'll get. I recommend always getting the second gen. It's always going to be cheaper, smoother. Yeah. Better. Better. Yeah. It's really the the resolution that they really need to. When turn they get that up. yeah, as soon as they ever get to um, what did they call it for the iPhones a couple years ago? Rate um, it was the uh, eye resolution or whatnot. So it actually eye retina or something. Or retina, whatever it. The resolution. Retina display. Yes. If it gets... I'm assuming that's like a really good resolution or something. Uh, you know what? Be honest. Or is it some sort of technology so it looks better or something? Yeah. It, it's kind of... Or it's just some dumb gimmick. Cause it's just... I mean, yeah. Back then it was nice. But now it's like... If you look back at it now, yeah. the eye retina thing, it was, it just, it's not even 720p. Okay. If maybe it was that. I remember... But, I remember re looking somewhere and saying the actual resolution that our eyes see is some fucking... 
ridiculous. Yeah, it is some <laughs> some crazy. We'll probably see it in ten years. Well, what was it like? Steve Jobs said that you know, oh, your eyes can't tell the difference. That was at twenty four frames, or, or was it but, but whatever the resolution he yeah. said, but. Now they have quad HD and you can tell the difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I just like to see that point in the future when the resolution is better than what our eyes can see. I will get some weird like spiritual sensation in the back of our head, be like, there's more here than we're seeing. I saw um you know Linus Tech Tip tech tips on uh it's a youtube channel you've mentioned him before yeah he was showing off some i don't know what the company is but it was like a 8k virtual reality headset That's cool. and the thing i mean it looks like a freaking alien because it went like <laughs> how far off the face no no so it was like this yeah. but it's you know how the oculus rift is it's, it's a real narrow field yeah of this view. thing was like okay this so. way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it's a like a field of view type thing where it's like um how much you can actually see. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, A lot of people for like first-person shooters, they want like around 100, 110. That gets like really weird sometimes seeing a field of view that big. But it, that's the thing they're going to come with with uh, VR. Soon it'll just be this fucking fishbowl you put over your head and you just fucking look all look around. around you. Yeah. yeah. That'll be cool. Either that or you just... Some some kind of chip that you just... Yeah, if you ever remember Put those... right on your freaking head and then it just connects to the computer. Back... God, this was like when they were doing commercials, I think, for the PS2. They were talking about this PS9, PlayStation 9, that was in the future, where it was like these this stuff you would inhale and it would go in your brain and it would just fuck your eyes up and you just pretend you're racing as you're sitting down. Wow. So this is just like... I mean, it was like this hypo- hypothetical, in the future, when we have video games, it'll just be like a thing you plug into the back of your head. It'd be like this thing you eat and stimulates whatever the fuck you have you in your head. It sounds like some... Just take a pill. And, Drugs or yeah, something. Yeah, <laughs> there probably wouldn't be too much of a difference whenever that comes out in like 20, 50 years. Yeah. If we're alive then. Yeah. If. Um, so that was talking about VR last <laughs> month. <laughs> um, I talked about going to Mount Philo. I'm pretty happy how that turned out. Yeah, it was a nice video. Uh, when I went into it, I was real dumb. And I thought that the uh, GoPro would be able to pick up me talking. But it's in that fucking case. So when I actually listened back to the audios, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, well, that's dumb. So part of what I wanted to do didn't end up happening. So I just made it a straight up video yeah. or with music in the background. Yeah, I think it worked out perfect. Yeah, I was pretty happy with it. In the future, I want to do more of those. Um, I want to combine it with something else like either video on my phone or your phone if we yeah. happen to go do a thing together. Uh, yeah. If I ever save up money to get a drone and do some pretty cool drone shots. Yeah, yeah. And also uh, export it as a 24 frame. Yeah, this is stuff you'll just, we'll fiddle with together when we actually do a thing. But that has been probably one of the more uh, view-wise, one of the more popular things we've done mm-hmm. behind, I think, sure. the Uncharted videos when they first came out. Yeah. But that was fun to do. It took me a couple hours to get it all done. I'm glad I did. Um, I know I mentioned doing some editorial stuff. Uh, that really didn't get anywhere. For over the past month, I've been busy not doing it. <laughs> um, that Philo thing, I, mean, I did it during my vacation, but actually finding a decent day to do it. Yeah. Um, it took up more days than I wanted to because some of those days were shit. Yeah, yeah. And then every other time I thought I might have had time to do it, I was streaming. Or if I wasn't streaming, I was downloading, editing, rendering, and uploading all the stream videos. Because I kind of just left weekends, and on weekends is when we usually record. Or I was just doing some other errands and whatnot. But I want to get to it. I just need to block out some time. Maybe I'll get to it this month. Maybe I'll get to it next month. And that leads right into what we're going to be doing probably in the next month or so. Oh, I forgot two other things. Uh, I know that we talked about Destiny last month. And uh, I'm definitely not doing Destiny just because there was an issue with using OBS, which we used to capture mm-hmm. gameplay. And Destiny had some um, restrictions on using OBS to re- capture any of their um, game. Like, I think I have to do it in a certain window setting. Kind of like the issue we're having with Wolfenstein right now, like I mentioned earlier. But I might have that stuff ironed out, and I just don't. 
I thought I would care more about Destiny than I do. Mm-hmm. Like we talked about it for a long fucking time. Yeah, it's for you know what? I it, it kind of just went away yeah. in my head at least, and uh, now I'm kind of just like, eh. yeah, I, it, I really don't. Once you got past that initial like, okay, it's out. Maybe now you just don't care anymore. There's a bunch of other shit that came out that's worth fucking playing. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. I've heard way more good things about Wolfenstein two than I have anything about Destiny two. Yeah. And yeah. I played the first Destiny, and I'm just I get it. But how do you know how um how does it play on the pro? The what? Wolfenstein. Um other than having to play with a controller, it's fine, I think, yeah. from what I heard. Graphic wise, pretty decent. It's alright. Yeah. I think again, if you want the best output, you'd have to get that new Xbox and then have a four K TV. I mean best output is probably yeah. But I think they're doing computer. Oh, what the fuck's it called? Patchwork two four K or whatever it is where it's like alternate 4K. It's like some sort of cube thing they do with the resolution where only sections of it are 4K and the rest isn't to make it look better. Yeah, it's, so it's uh, checkerboard rendering. That's what it's called. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I don't like playing first-person shooters on controllers because yeah. I, like, I like using the mouse. I mentioned that before. Um, ooh. Yeah. So next month, uh, I'm going to continue with Nier on the stream. Hopefully I can get that done before the month is out. All right. Uh, we're. I'm still looking into Wolfenstein to get that thing to work because I'd like to play that. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, figure that getting out. back to uh, probably another round of Passport Two, Passport Two, whatever it's called. Either just making that once a week thing because I have some ideas I want to do, and my best way of getting those through is going back through Passport Two. Look at all that rhyming I'm doing. <laughs> um. Also, getting into GeoGuessr, if we can't get us to do a two-player, you just do solo stuff with it. Probably, again, another once-a-week thing, once every couple of weeks. Um, doing more Versus games, because that Rocket League shit was fun. Yeah. Um, finding more Versus stuff, and actually um, either doing a week of it or just one-offs of everything. Yeah, if people want to leave some comments on uh, Sug- suggesting some two-player games. Definitely. Because um, we always talk about wanting feedback, yeah, we're not he- we're not adverse to it at all. No. Um, so yeah, if anybody has any suggestions, let us know. We'll look into it, and if we dig it. We'll do it. Uh, we'll do it for sure. Bra. <laughs> Bra. Anything you have to mm. plan to look forward to in the next couple of months? Winter's coming. Winter is already here. It snowed this morning, actually. Did it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't going to stick, but... Yeah. yeah. Unless you go on the higher elevations. Yeah. I think we're we're getting hit with some Arctic freaking flash. flash. Yeah, it's going to be like that for a couple more days, I think. I think tomorrow's 40s. Back. I think it's going seasonal, back. Seasonal, they call it. Yeah. yeah. So... Goddamn um, fucking Arctic blast coming from... Canada. I Arctic blasted this morning when I woke up. <laughs> I'm sure you did. It was a mess. Yeah. So that was the month, and it leaves us with one last thing. The bet. Yeah. Funny thing about the bet, Evo. What is it? Did you meet your weight? Uh, I don't know. I haven't weighed myself. <laughs> Do you feel like you've be- met your weight? Uh, I'm going to say no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, our scale scale's busted here, so we we just found that out now. But it's pretty confident to say that Evo and I both did not meet our goal. Yeah, no, so. def- if anything, I probably did a horrible week last week <laughs> or this week. This week, I just oh really just eating shit. Just just let yourself go. They like to say this week. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Last couple of weeks, I was pretty good, but I, I was. Uh, couple days you know i was just barely just not eat like yeah. a lot and no sugar and then this week has just been a sugar treat every day <laughs> no bread no sugar dude dude <laughs> no that i i started off kind of strong on the vacation but there's it, it, it was Tapered more off. it was more bad than good i think but no, i definitely didn't get it either so that both means Green Russian for this. We both have to drink it, and we have to sixty nine while we. Drink well, that it. part we can't we can't put on YouTube <laughs> because they'll get mad at us. We'll have to put that on Pornhub. We we can. 
<laughs> we can just block it off. <laughs> <laughs> Probably could. Uh, so that just means next month, Evo, is double or nothing. And what we mean by that is it's it's going to be a winner-take-all thing. And the loser has to drink two for local goats. Oh, shit. Yeah. You didn't like really, it. two? Two for local goats. Dude, one's fucking... That's why it's double or... You don't want to lose, Evo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and we'll either um, record... You have to drink it while we do the next month thing, so you have to do drink two of them. It takes about a half hour to do one of these. So you got to drink two of those in 30 minutes. The loser does. The loser does? Okay. What if we both lose? Well, God help us, Evo. We're going to be drinking a lot of fucking Four loco together. Yeah. All right. It's something to look forward to. Yeah. And right. we, dug our, we dug ourselves in this hole. I'd rather do two shots of absinthe. Well, we're not, but we're going to cut to a video right at the end of this of us actually doling out our own punishments of drinking yeah. a green Russian. So that'll be at the end of this. So we're going to wrap up here and cut right to that, folks. Um, for Evo, this is Greg signing yeah. off for the State of the State statement for October 2017. We'll see you in 30 days. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>